Defence Minister Datuk Sri Muhammad Khalid Nordin has distanced himself from resignations at LTAT. This is as another member of its senior leadership, Senior Director for Strategy, Diana Rogaya Omar, resigns. She is currently serving her notice. Khalid says his only instruction to LTAT was for decision-making at the fund to include all stakeholders. He says any major changes at LTAT must go through the cabinet. In the last month, LTAT has lost its Chief Executive Dato Ahmad Nazim Abdul Rahman and Chairman General Tan Sri Raja Mohamed Afendi Raja Mohamed Noor. LTAT CFO Muhammad Ashraf Muhammad Razi currently serves as Acting CEO. Khalid has put LTAT's strategic plan 2023-2025, which is now in its second year, on hold.